Hello again, everybody. Welcome to another instructional video for Forest River, Salem and Wildwood Divisions. Sean Fitzsimmons, Warranty Administrator for Wildwood, and today we're gonna to be talking about sewer connections and termination valves. Gray or galley tanks hold used water from sinks, showers, and tubs. The black tank holds sewage, but some sinks and drains can be plumbed into the black tank as well, and this is not against code. Black tank flush should never be used without the cap removed and the termination valve open due to pressure. Now we're going to get into the operational side of a black and gray tank. The first thing you want to do is remove the cap. Second, you'll want to attach the hose to the actual valve itself into your drain. Once that is done, you'll want to pull the lever for your, your termination valve lever for your black tank, and you'll want to do the black tank first, followed by the gray tank termination valve right here. What that does is having the secondary gray tank go, it's going to clear out any remnants from the black tank that was left over when draining. Once completed, push both termination valves in, remove the hose from the drain, and reinsert your cap. First thing with transition. 